Howdy everybody, once again, coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. And uh, what are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to have some quiet fun. We're actually going to shoot some groups today. So I hope that excites everybody. And this one's kind of going to kind of be, I guess, a shout out video. I don't know what to call this, but uh. I wanted to do this one for Nibs, and, uh, Nibs is the, uh, the pellet gun genius and the 22 guru. That's not what he goes by. Anyways, uh, <laughs> that's just what I'm calling him, and I hope he finds humor in that. But, uh, man, the dude's really smart. He's really cool. His video is very fun. He's very entertaining, and, uh, wow, he does a... He's a smart, smart man. I love his videos. They're very cool. He's got probably... That man's got air rifles from the 1800s. I didn't even know they made air rifles in the 1800s. That blew my mind. The things that this man has. Wow. And he's got a bunch of your... Uh, you know, man, you're... Up to date, I guess. Recent... Um, I can't think right now. I'm just doing all this right off the cuff. Well, anyways, um, man, he always does these little um, yeah, he'll do man, yeah, he just he just shoots. He likes to do it. It's fun. Most of the time. Well, now that it's winter time and he lives up north where most of you guys do, uh it's snowing. And so he chooses to do lots of videos in his garage, which, man, I, well, if I had a nice indoor garage, man, I'd be there too. I'd have me an air conditioning unit in there right about now. Man, I'm suffering with, it is 80, it was another 90 degrees today in February. Man, I'm, we didn't even get a break this year. I think it froze, or it got below 32 degrees Fahrenheit for one evening or maybe two evenings and what was that? Anyways, let's get this thing. Today, a little target out there on the one of the dilapidated burn barrels. And uh, here we have our daisy. It's been so long since I shot this thing, I don't even know what the hell it's called anymore. <clears throat> Why can't I think of what this thing's called? Anyway, it is a Daisy. Uh huh, there we go. Uh, Daisy 880 power line. And, uh, and I did, man, this is kind of silly. I put this big giant scope on there. I do plan to, t I, I've shot this rifle, this pellet gun, uh, out to 120 yards. I do have videos on that, or a video, uh, well, one at 100, one at 120. And that was as far as I got with the old scope. And, uh, so I switched this scope thinking I was going to continue on and continue on and I don't know what happened. I started shooting bigger, more fun, loud guns. And uh, so today we're just going to come back out. It is zeroed at 40 yards. And that would be using these pellets. And uh, what kind of pellet is that? That's crazy looking. Well, they are Crossman pellets. Uh, they are 8.5 grains, I guess. And it gives a model on there. Um, well, there is no sticker on it. They are a non-lead pellet, I guess. I got them because it was the heaviest one. And I wanted to see how they ran. So what I'm going to do, we've got our little target out here. And I've just got a little one inch piece of black tape on there. You know, I'm not really guessing that I'm going to be hitting bullseyes or anything because I am shooting from the magical 21 feet that Nib shoots from. And, uh, 
we're just going to try and get some some kind of group on there and see if we can come close to anything that man would get because that man knows how to shoot his pellet guns so anyways let me get you all chucked in the uh little tripod over here and uh Let's see how this goes. There we go. So, anything new happen with anybody? Is everybody good? Families are all okay? I really hope so, guys. I saw myself going to the doctor today. We'll talk about that later. I don't think there's anything really serious going on. Talking some scare wax here. 20 yards. I ain't 20 yards. Maybe that'll work. Oh, what do I have this one set at? I don't need all them zoomies. That's much better. Alright, so we're going to get a couple more videos with this thing. And I will try and get it back out and do some uh, long distance again. If you want to call it long distance. Unsupported, standing unsupported. This is the way Niv likes to shoot. Man, Andy does good. I don't know how I'm going to do. We're going to find out. i to get my spare to cooperate. I think there is light. Okay. Well, that was a little unexpected. I don't mean to pull the trigger that quick. That means my finger is working fine. It also means I don't have as good a control over it as I would like. Now this thing being so light, man, it's really hard to... There's almost not enough weight to keep it steady. So I'm just going to make all the excuses for the pellet gun. I don't ever shoot this thing unsupported. Now I know why. I can't hold it still. Got some, it ain't going too bad. However, when I start shooting this thing at distance, it will be supported and maybe I'll just get a bag out and I won't use the whole lead sled or anything not do total cheating alright that was three I'm going to go ahead and put Five down range, just to give myself an extra chance to embarrass myself. I didn't really have enough time to go out to the big range and ring steel. 
Although I did get my uh, targets all good and fixed up. That's okay. It's just a little shaky with this light, light gun. I remember these things were made for children. I do have a way, I do have a weight to put on the end of this thing. So I'm trying to give some hints without giving it all away. Only problem is, my front sight's going to have to go in order to do that. And, uh, and then I'm going to have to do some genius engineering in order to make it happen i've got some good ideas and man i just i just gotta get after it that's all i don't really know how that's gonna turn out but if i don't do it at all then it ain't gonna happen at all okay here goes five Let's go see how we did. Well, I got one bad. That thing, man, I went way left. Well, we're going to go up here and see together. I don't have my tape measure with me. That's kind of stupid. I should have brought that with me. Oh. Wow, man. Well, I shot five. Y'all saw that. And I didn't miss four of them, or three of them. So, dude. If that square right there is one inch, like I think it is. And that means this is about an inch and a half. An inch and a half. Well, that's about two inches. I think that also means that I got about three of them in the same hole right here. Or really close to it, so wow. Well, that wasn't bad shooting at all. I thought I didn't... Huh. Man. Well, I guess sometimes you just gotta kind of believe in yourself. I mean, it is only 20 feet away, but wow. All right, not too bad for the little pellet gun and those little big grain pellets. Who'd ever thought, man? And that's why I was heard a turkey. I don't know, maybe y'all heard that. I hope so. That was kind of cool. Well, that's what you get from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, turkeys, deer, man, you get all kinds of cool wildlife out here. It's really, really neat, man. I love it here. For some reason, we got a bunch of buzzards flying around, so we all know what that means when the buzzards are around. And somebody didn't, or something didn't make it. Well, anyway, there y'all go. This one's for you, Nibs. And, uh, man. That's all I got for you guys tonight. Well, I have 15 minutes. Couldn't make the videos any shorter. If I would, if I did, they wouldn't be as fun. Hope this was fun for everybody. It was for me. Uh, love all y'all. Thank you for everything. Well, have a great night.
see you very soon. Bye, y'all.